The person who is going to take up the presentation is the president at uh, Envision Enterprises Solutions and by profession he holds a Bachelor of Engineering degree and MBA in Marketing Management with over 25 years of vast experience in sales and marketing of IT solutions to a large corporate customers, a team player with leadership qualities in conceptualizing and winning customers' acceptance. He was involved in signing large prestigious uh, contracts and dominated in providing asset management and custom solution to several metro rail and port customers in India and abroad. I'm talking about none other than Mr. R. Ramana, Vice President at Envision Enterprise. A huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Can we have you here, sir? Nario, uh, it's impact of uh, digitalization in metro rail for operation and maintenance. Along with me, I would like to invite Mr. Dr. Nikhil Kolwal from IBM to be on the stage uh, for some of the roadmap of the product, what we'll be covering in future. Yeah. So, we, we primarily are a, a, goal, a business partner to IBM uh, for Maximo Asset Management Software, which is a leading asset management software uh, and uh, which is specialized in providing custom solutions in Metro Rail in trying to configure the entire asset hierarchy of the uh, rail subsystems, of the Metro Rail subsystems, right from the rolling stock uh, to the signaling track, depot, and uh, BMS, including all the stations, where Envision was fortunate to implement uh, uh, more than 13 odd metro rails in India and outside India, where the solution what we have deployed is a configurable solution and which is agnostic, wherein we configure all the uh, metro rail assets of the rolling stock, create a model of the rolling stock for all the maintenance scheduling, uh, for all the maintenance scheduling, preventive maintenance scheduling, the permit systems, uh, the uh, uh, the, the, the labor and the inventory management, what is required for regulatory compliance of the entire rolling stock, which is very critical. And along with that, having experience in about uh, 10 odd years we have been doing in the industry, we also have built some of the custom solutions over and above the Maximo in terms of the fitness certificate for the uh, rolling stock, the coach, uh, uh, which starts its revenue operations early morning. And uh, we also created a permit to work system for the entire thing, which is very, very vital in trying to identify all the, how the system is performing and what are the likely failures which have which happened. And we're creating a daily, a digital log system so that uh, the train operators, controllers at the depot would be able to track all the logs of the files, which, uh, of the failures or alerts which have been, which they have encountered during the metro rail operation during the network and we have created a fracas reporting system for all the uh, energy consumption energy what is the energy consumed on what is uh, uh, how many the train running kilometers and what type of a reporting for the oee mtbf mttr mmbcf mdbcf some of the things and we have create being a maximo being an agnostic industry leaders uh, leading solution we have created we have integrated to majority of the rail subsystems like TCMS uh, and HABD system, wheel lathe, wheel profile, wash plant in the depot, which is very vital for the metro rail owner as well as the operator in trying to see how better they could optimize the cost and see the reliability of the system so that they have a uh, optimized performance of the rolling stock as well as minimize the downtime, which can definitely increase the boost the revenue of the organization and then create a reliable and a safe passenger experience. Some of the uh, coming going forward using uh, uh, the advanced tools of the AI and ML, which we have covered in the previous stage along with our distinguished speakers and eminent uh, uh, knowledgeable uh, gentlemen uh, from Mr. A.K. Singh, Mr. Kazi and all. That we, I, we have go, used a similar concept in trying to integrate to the wayside monitoring so that the, tri the rolling stock which is, at, which is moving at various uh, network in the city, 
sitting at the OCC, they are able to track the, the, the rolling stock of for any failures, intermittent failures, which are, could be of critical or minor or major, so that they could they could attend it to, to it when the moment that the, the straw it comes back to the depot. And uh, we have using all the data which is coming from the various uh, digital solar tools which have been we, we have been incorporated, we, we, we have been using. We have integrated and we are trying to do a pretty analytics of the rolling stock and the other railway subsystem so that the idea was that how to optimize the performance and minimize the downtime and predict the failures or the likely failures that are going to happen. Uh, that, was the, uh, that was the way we have learned in the past 8 to 10 years of experience and created some of the logbooks and permits for the um, metro rail. Uh, stakeholders so that they are able to track on real time scenario of the entire stock and the how the stations are performing or any other failures which they are encountering. Coming into some of our customers uh, within India and outside India, we thank all the Metro Rail customers who have given us the opportunity to, to uh, be a part of the success story right from Hyderabad Metro Rail, the journey started. Then we through BEML, we went on to Delhi and Jaipur Metro with Alstom, we did it to Lucknow. Cochin and Hanoi Metro. At, uh, we did recently at the Mauritius Metro. And then we are currently implementing at Noida Metro. And uh, uh, in Mumbai, we have doing for two lines of this thing. And coming up, a new wonderful story is coming up in future. And uh, if you look at these are all some of the rail subsystems which have been we have integrated and seamlessly in a real time we are able to track all the things right from the rolling stock so that they are able to build see the model of the asset of the rolling stock and what are all the failures or what type of uh, sub-assemblies are available and LRUs for undertaking the time-based, meter-based, condition-based, or predictive-based maintenance activities. And at the stations and power, traffic, uh, all the FC gates are being integrated so that they all work seamlessly for enhanced customer experience. Uh, quickly moving on, we also have built a crew monitoring solution for the uh, train operators and train controllers to the Metro Rail, one of our customers in Mumbai, triple uh, CL for line 2A, 2B, 2C and 7, wherein they are able to track the, the crew monitoring and roasting is also a part of it and integrated to Maximo for a real-time planning of uh, all the train controllers and all. And uh, we could see that the Maximo would definitely in the long term would give you in terms of the reliability and uh, having an in, being an industry leader in India and outside India Maximo. So it can give you a better cost of ownership and uh, reliable and uh, trusted information to you so that and it's a SOVA architecture and IBM has been investing heavily onto the product in trying to take it into the next level of the journey in that using all the technologies and uh, some of our case studies of the Hyderabad Metro Rail where we integrated to all the subsystems and uh, we now we moved on to the cloud, the entire system, and uh, they're efficiently used by both the Hyderabad Metro Rail, Metro Rail as an owner and Keolis as an operator. Both are able to use the system and uh, efficiently track it on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. One of our other customers is Mumbai Metro Rail, Triple MOCL, whom we call that, and where we are integrating to the all the IoT sensors, the field sensor, and trying to track the information for all the pre-2 and historical analysis. One of our customers, Mauritius, uh, outside India, we are very glad to work on a, along with the Mauritius Metro. They have a, and system is running fine. And uh, now I would like to hand over to Dr. Nikhil Kulwal. He is a senior technical consultant from IBM India and who was associated in some of the success journeys in Metro and other industries uh, to give a right perspective of the product and the roadmap for how the product is evolving and taking forward into the predictive and uh, asset information management prescriptive analysis. Over to Dr. Nikhil Kolwal. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you, Ramanaji. And a very good afternoon, everyone. So when we, um, in the session, when the experts are being talking about the technology, they are talking about the data, they are talking about the artificial intelligence and all the other things, right? So the, the, the product called IBM Maximo has always been a leader in the market, right? Where, where it's been connecting with your corporate systems. You have your HRMS systems or the different corporate systems could be human resource systems. While on the right hand side, it's been integrated to the technical system. It has the ready-made connectors where it will be integrated to the technical systems like your SCADA systems, like you have, you have various intelligent devices already being there, various sensors are already being there. 
and it should also be connected to your engineering management system or your BMS system. So it will be a, a centralized platform which will integrate it to your, to your rest of the technological landscape and ultimately the output would be when you want to see the real time monitoring, you want to do the kind of predictive analytics, right? You want to firstly to basically to capture the data from various sources because I know that systems are already being there which are working kind of silos, right? But the need of the R is to have a platform approach where you can build your enterprise asset management and the second important piece is your asset, per sorry, asset performance management, how your assets are being performing, right? So uh, as, an, as an output of this, certainly you can manage your business processes, you can have a configuration, uh, configurable UIs and the KPIs where, where as per your persona you can, uh, you can build your KPIs, how my assets are being performing. Right? So if we, if we um, uh, talk about the dashboards, it's a detailed capability and around the dashboards and the KPIs where the leadership teams, where the C-suits, where the technical people want to see. Uh, how how the how my systems are be performing? What are the systems I have? How's the real time visibility? How's my trains are moving? Are the other things. Right? So when we so this is uh, uh, as I said, Maximo is in the always in the leader space from past 35 plus years, right? This has been evolving as the technology progressing. So this is the whole suite what we have uh, the called IBM Maximo application suite. So it starts from your enterprise asset management where we want to capture the assets, where you want to capture the rolling stocks where you want to capture your SNT uh, signals and telecommunication, where you want to capture all of your assets, starting from your lifts and signals and everything, right? So first to have the visibility of your assets into one system where you can have assetization of all of your assets. Then the second thing comes into picture with the second piece is called monitor. So monitor is basically an IoT platform which will, which will get the data from various sensors, which will be integrated to your SCADA systems, which will integrate to the various GI systems also. And this is a, the, the good part of it, this is a platform agnostic. This is an OEM agnostic platform, right? Where you don't have any dependency on any of the OEM to do certain uh, advanced use cases of analytics, right? On the top, you are seeing this visual inspection, right? Some of the expert was talking about the quality inspections, right? Where, where they want to inspect the, 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 the profile of, of the train from the bottom, for example. So this is a camera-based inspection where where you can build your own models because ultimately uh, uh, this is uh, artificial intelligence plus machine learning comes into picture where when we when we talk about the digitization or industry 4.0 right on that on the right hand side you are seeing this mobile so this is basically for the technicians where technicians who are who are working on the ground could be in an online offline mode where where they can uh, have the data they can have the visibility what are the work orders are being assigned and, and the important feature and the one value which we are bringing on this is the health, right? And to take the decisions repair versus replace. Are we doing optimum maintenance or are we doing over maintenance or are we doing under maintenance of our assets? And ultimately it's, it's, a, it's a journey, right? So a digitization journey starts from your enterprise asset management to the predictive part of it where you have good amount of data coming from your IT systems and OT systems, then you can do the predictive analytics over it. We also brings the capability around digital twins where we have the 3D uh, digital model replica and you can have your asset twins and the inventory and the bomb twins also. So this is, uh, this is the whole platform which uh, 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 many of our customers are already been uh, using it, right? So uh, uh, this is uh, uh, from since morning, right? We are discussing this asset management landscape. We are talking about from preventive to breakdown to maintenance to going to the prescriptive maintenance part of it, right? So this is the overall landscape where, where, where the solutions are being working, right? Where initially we want to understand what is being happened, right? Corrective maintenance. Then we, then we move toward the preventive maintenance. We want to prevent our assets either time-based or the condition-based. Then the third, third thing uh, comes into picture is the usage-based or the condition-based. You want to see how my asset is being conditioned is then accordingly I'll, I'll, I'll uh, prefer my maintenance would be. And the ultimate goal of this would be as in cognitive and prescriptive maintenance where system will give you the recommendations, system will give you the prescriptive task. So if this failure is going to happen, let's say next month, what should be the recommendations coming out from the system, right? So this is, uh, so this is a whole platform where you can build your uh, industry 4.0 use cases. And again, it's a uh, uh, very user friendly platform where you don't need to set up a kind of a team of data scientists building those models. So this platform is basically for your SMEs who are working uh, 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 in day in day out. So with this slide, I'll, 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 uh, this came to an end. So idea is to provide an overview about what IBM Maximo is doing and, uh, and with our great partner Envision, where we have a lot of case studies and bringing the value for the customers. Thank you so much.
Thanks, Dr. Nikhil. And uh, sir, thank you very much for giving us an opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, thank you, Inno Metro. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And uh, with this, we can give a huge round of applause for both the gentlemen. Everybody, a little louder. Thank you. Thank you for being here.